these arts are already recognized as socially disgusting. Th so, these parts are already recognized by public as bad art in the first place. Even though the entire premise of so, opening the opposition is that the concept of art is vague and the concept of art it shouldn't be like decided by the government. Yes? We to some extent consider that on our side of the house. But notice, we're not saying that government can be the decision maker about what is good art, what is yeah, bad art yeah. in this debate to begin with. These arts are already socially recognized as bad, socially recognized as offensive, socially recognized as disgusting already. Even on our side of the house, the citizens are decision maker about what kind of like art we want to kick out, what kind of art we want to accept. The state is not like going to decide what is the like the better art on our side to begin with. We think that it is the same case where, for example, uh, like we believe that if there are many people who want something, it's natural for the government to realize that the will of citizen, Mr. Speaker. It's the same case as where, for example, like if, if citizen, many citizens want to like more welfare, the government need to realize that. That that kind of situation is the same thing that we are talking about in this debate. Because more people think that they do not want to see or access to that kind of art, government needs to reflect that view of majority. That is the principle that we are talking about in this debate. <coughs> but secondly, about the vulnerability of people who are harmed through these arts. Let's compare the kind of freedom of art which they can achieve on their side and unconsented access to offensive and harmful art that harms identity of individuals. Even under their model, in the open government model, that People can still create socially disgusting art in the most restricted, restricted way on their side of the house. We to some extent preserve the freedom of art on our side in the first place. But on the contrary, the people who are, for example, raped, need to face like most sexual expression in the public life on our side of the house, that on their side of the house. That, like, and they need to like remember traumatic experience of rape, for example. They are not consented to accessing these kind of uh, rich, uh, these kind of art that uh, hurts identity of that person. They don't deserve the harm to be actually existing. We think the fair priority is to, to protect vulnerable who don't uh, don't consent to that uh, the consent access to the art. They said that social discourse or social background will change the situation. Two points. Maybe social discourse will change the situation. But firstly, in order for social discourse to happen, it takes long time, right? Yeah, During yeah. the social discourse being created, there must be many victims who are offended, yeah, yeah. who are harmed by that kind of we believe these these are the people who should like, we should take the first priority. But second of all, in order for backlash to be created, there must be victims, right? In order to make social backlash, there must be victims, and because victims are existing, there will be backlash. That, <coughs> therefore, we believe that in, they, what they are saying is that in order to change the like society, they are like sacrificing vulnerable people who are harmed yeah, by, yeah. That, by these people. The fact that they said that social discourse will change necessarily means that they are also want to protect, save these people who are harmed because that, that is what they want to do through social discourse. We think that we, because we are better protect these stakeholders which they also want to protect on our side is superior. Moving on to the second argument about subjectivity of, of arts and state art relationship. They said that government should not make the decision this art is offensive or not. But I've already told you that's not the context of today's debate. But even if that is so subjective, subjectivity doesn't mean that we cannot objectively measure the harm of it to begin with. For example, in the case of civil court, if like people are defamed by someone, we can like objectively measure the degree of punishment that deserve that they deserve to begin with. We can actually decide the amount of compensation that they need to pay to the victim. We don't think that just because it's subjective, that doesn't mean that we can uh, like objectively objectively measure the harm that they deserve. But yeah. second of all, because it's subjective, we need a government to um. Yes. We already told you that certain arts might be currently disgusting, but might not be might not be disgusting in the future. What is the objective definition of socially regarded disgusting work art that you are going to restrict on the state? That if if that some art is going to is not is going to not offensive in the future, maybe the government is not going to regulate that in the first place. But secondly, because it's right. no thank you. Because it's subject the government to need to regulate. Why? Because firstly, there are some people who hate for example, Muslims who hate blacks, who hate, who hate gays, for example, who intentionally create offensive art, 
What's the point? These people who intentionally hurt these people through creating us are able to utilize the rhetoric that this is art. Um, I'm not intending to offend that person. That kind of rhetoric are abused on their side of the house, and people are continuously offended by these ads in order to prevent these people who intentionally create but pretend to pretend not to be intentional from the creating these ads. We need state regulation. But thirdly, the idea of ownership. Uh, like we need to actually see a lot of arts, offensive art, or discussing art in public life on their side, like through fashion or advertisement in train or com convenience store or street, everywhere. When they kind of, when people see these kind of arts, like sexual ex expression or depiction of Muhammad, they think they feel that they do not want to go out the society because their identity is going to be harmed by facing that kind of expression. We think that accessibility is limited to the people who are who like are not going to be harmed by this art. We believe that accessibility is important because the public place is not a place for a particular group of people. That all people deserve the same amount of right to access the public life that they are going to damage. It. We think we are very proud of the police. I thank the member of government for his speech. Now I call upon the member of opposition. going to contend that being socially disgusting is the precise reason not for the state to restrict the sort of those sort of artwork, but rather a reason for the state to actively support those forms of artwork. Because what we say from closing opposition is that those forms of artwork, or being offended by certain forms of artwork, is actually extremely beneficial to social progression and the capability of people to be able to construct their identities in new ways. We say that the harms that they've been talking about, like being harmed temporarily, or do not override the overall benefits that come from being able to select from a larger selection of identities and a larger selection of ideas. We say that that is an extremely beneficial thing that comes apart uniquely from artwork. That's why the state has to be supporting this artwork rather than restricting it. So we're more than happy, for example, to be funding things like feminist art galleries or, for example, yeah. gay pride parades. We think that those things are seen as legitimately socially disgusting, but we think the state should be backing those precisely because of the benefits that we're going to talk about in this speech. I'm going to be asking two questions in my speech. First of all, exactly what kind of artwork are we supposed to be talking about? And when this, do people think that some things are socially disgusting? What is this disgust feeling supposed to be in the first place? Second of all, I'm going to talk about why we think that precisely because of that nature, this artwork is something that should be rather be supported from the perspective of the state. But before that, let's get one point of independent rebuttal to their side of the house. So they told us that the reason we're, dis we're restricting explicitly sexual content that's being displayed in public. The fact is, we don't see explicitly sexual content being displayed in public under the status quo. But for example, if we're talking, if they're talking about mildly sexually suggesting, like sexually arousing images, we're more than willing to support those. But the fact is, we think that they have to be debating in the reality and debating about what actual images are being perpetrated in society and in public. We don't think that that's really realistic. But even if we, to a certain extent, accept, accept that these images can be disturbing and can be sexually arousing, we're more than willing to support those as well. That's what closing opposition is supporting in this debate. So first, let's move on to their extension and all rebuttals will be integrated in my substandard. So first, let's talk about when people are actually discussing. And we really think that there are two circumstances. First of all, we think that people can be disgusted when they're confronted with unfamiliar ideas. For example, when you're confronted with the feeling that, for example, like when you're confronted with the idea that men can be attracted to men when you're not something, when you're conservative and you're very cons com exposed to those sorts of ideas, you can be saying things that's something that's disgusting, that's something that's a natural nature. But second of all, we also say that when things are extremely personal, we also think that these things can be extremely offensive and disgusting to the individual. For example, like sexual content, etc., etc. We think that those things are also things that can be make people discuss it. But why do we think there's a precise reason we should be rather supporting this? First of all, in terms of unfamiliar ideas, we think that society assumes and wants to be pluralistic. We think that states should want an accepting and tolerant society with a wide range of ideas. That's why we think that people should rather be exposed to these ideas 
Why is this? Because we say it's extremely beneficial, precisely considering the nature of art. Because what, na what nature of art, which opening opposition didn't really address, is that it's something extremely subjective and captures humanity and the subjective way of thinking in a unique way. It's something that cannot be expressed in words, for example. Yeah, how you yeah. feel like being gay, how proud you are of your sexuality, yeah, or whether yeah. you feel that sexuality is disgusting or not, whether you feel like a mental disorder or not, cannot be exposed in words. You have to have those people be expressing those in forms of emotional art. Because art is the only thing that can capture emotion, subjective feelings, and it's the only thing that can translate them to other individuals. That's why, for example, it's extremely difficult for people, to, for gay people, to be countering the idea that being gay is a mental disorder just by words. Because people cannot understand your feelings, your subjectivity, your subjective reality, which are crucially necessary in order to change those feelings. That's why we say that rather by people being offended by those ideas, by seeing it and seeing it as disgusting, it makes those people reconsider their ideas. It makes those people reponder upon those ideas. It makes people try or it inserts a feeling from the other person. It makes you see what the other person is feeling like. And you see, yeah. you see an expression of that individual in a uniquely subjective way, which allows you to understand the individual. We think it's extremely beneficial because oftentimes the reason people are not willing to accept like alien ideas is because they're not told, because they don't really understand the feelings of the individual that are involved in it. When this inserts this subjective feeling, the emotional aspect, we said it's a crucially changing and something that's extremely beneficial. But second of all, even if we were also suggest that their side of the house isn't really going to be able to limit offensive expressions overall. We say unfortunately that even if you to a certain extent try to restrict things, there's going to be probably hate speech or hate crimes even in their private because state restriction isn't perfect. Why is this why do you think this is important? We say that it's better to express how people express these feelings in the form of artwork rather than like hate speech and forms of uh, like speech acts or forms of like actions that are extremely harmful and deliberately harmful to the individual. We say that by allowing people to express things in artwork, it makes it acts as a safety valve and lessens the pressure and makes people express those offensive ideas in better or more peaceful ways. Why is this? Because we say the words and actions are often inciting. They often encourage other people to follow your way. Because when you say, for example, like Muslims should die and you get a nice and you make a rant or something like that, people are going to be excited and easily follow. I don't know, on the other hand, like art is something that is static rather than dynamic. It's something that you can see in, for example, like an art gallery that doesn't necessarily incite you. So therefore it allows you to be exposed to those offensive ideas in a more peaceful manner. For example, on Shoah the Abdo, we don't necessarily we say that this form of artwork wasn't necessarily something that was like comfortable from their perspective. But we say that mitigating the harm of uncomfort into these individuals or to Muslim people. We say we should be rather supporting this form of artwork because we say that if you had not had those images, then the black bars and then you would probably have, like for example, hate speech, or you would have to have those forms of expression in order to actually, and those things would have been well, it's expressed. But what we also say allows us to recognize the existence of discrimination in a peaceful way as well. Because oftentimes it's easy for people to absolutely ignore the existence of discrimination before we move on to that I'll take over. Alright, to some extent we can see that this goes is be somehow beneficial. But let's think about it, it is disgusting, right? On the process of, to, of the getting benefit, you need to sacrifice the vulnerable. How can you legitimate? Okay, you need to talk about why your side is going to absolutely be able to protect these individuals in a better manner. I'm just talking about precisely why artwork is a better form for protecting it because it allows these discriminatory ideas to be expressed and recognized by the public without having to expose these people necessarily to the most harmful forms of these opinions, which are in the form of hate speech, we think that's extremely harmful and better on our side. But finally, let's talk about why we think that in the personal aspect it's also very beneficial. So for example, let's take the example of sexuality, which might be disgusting to many people. We say that being exposed to various forms of sexuality, rather than having to explore sexuality in your own house, like in a dark room, is better. Because being able to be expressed to a various amount, various types of sexuality, why is your perspective? When you look on the internet and you only search for sexuality that satisfies you right now, it oftentimes doesn't allow you to explore different sexualities. It doesn't allow you to diversify sexuality. We understand, in some circumstances, you might confront sexualities that are disgusting, but that's part of the natural process of selecting what is ultimately most satisfying to you. We say that that is something that is a process that people should be put forth in in order to be able to achieve better happiness for yourself, be able to achieve a better identity, that's precisely why we're saying artwork that is offensive, it's precisely what the space should be supporting. That's why we oppose. I like the member of opposition for his speech. Now I call upon government whip to end the government's case.
to the speaker and Congress and gentlemen that we say, that we that are opposing the government, that we that show you that procedure or priority or to that uh, legitimate the for state risk of arts is the right to the vulnerable citizen, ladies and gentlemen. That we think the first priority is to protect the these citizens. So they say that they are uh, the uh, cost of the vulnerable people the for the utility of the social the uh, social uh, 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 social the things and the free speech is good or the free discourse is good and so forth. So that's why we think this is uh, so the uh, deterrent for the vulnerable citizen. I will talk about the one thing. Speech. The free speech is the whether free speech is always the, uh, is always allowed or not. We have uh, whether we have legitimacy to restrict the uh, arts there when it is uh, socially legal discussed. So uh, moving on to the point, the day, uh, so we say that opening the the option and the clo uh, sorry, a closing government say like the uh, social legal disgusting is so the ambiguous ambiguous ladies and gentlemen. But we think that. It, the ambiguous, it is not the uh, legitimate reason not to restrict the art in the time of status. So, for, for example, right, the, we have already the restricted the so, uh, like some sexual the harassment. Right? So the individual cannot decide, this cannot decide whether this is really sexual harassment in the past. Right? <coughs> right? The, it's still very subjective. It's emotion of the individual. Individuals, the, the friend, the people have taken the se uh, sexual harassment. The state, the we think that in the current state, uh, the state has the obligation to help the people who have actually suffered from like, sexual harassment in the current status. That's why we think the state has the more priority than the people that at the expense of the like, free speech or the uh, free uh, uh, utility, a uh, social utility, and so forth. And moreover, we think they think about uh, like, uh, identity of the individual important. That we think that this. Identity is not accepted for by the uh, state because we think that some people like the uh, I like to offend uh, to others that this is my identity, but this identity is not accepted because the reason why is because they are actually uh, deprived the rights of the identity of, of to of the others, ladies and gentlemen. That is also applicable to cases because the. They are actually the deprived the rights the, the people the rights to the make the, uh, to the people to feel comfortable, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we think uh, the their identity is not accepted in the their power. So moreover, we think uh, over they are the closing government or open government say also uh, kept saying right that uh, counter discourse is also the beneficial. But we think that some of the, uh, like the uh, social regard disgusting, uh, like, uh, disgusting the arts is actually the creating the backlash of the people. So, but we think the social the discourse is can be uh, not uh, cannot be the change at all, uh, change the situation at all, ladies and gentlemen. The social change is ambiguous, ladies and gentlemen. So we think that. Uh, uh, sorry, counter discourse is don't that make uh, any kind of the, a good a good solution and after all. So because we think some radicalists is actually uh, uh, saying the radical things uh, under the uh, using the arts and so forth, ladies and gentlemen. But we think under our problem, uh, we think we definitely uh, reduce the arts which cause the disgusting uh, uh, dis uh, uh, disgusting the social, ladies and gentlemen. That we definitely the reduce the the arts the which is actually causes the social regard disgusting. But on the other on the other on the other side of house, the so the counter discourse is actually uh, uh, the causing the backlash. But we think the social change it uh, the this uh, social uh, uh, <coughs> counter discourse is actually we don't the see the social uh, counter discourse actually uh, causing the uh, counter discourse. So. And more, we think uh, they think or they do the uh, they, they do creatively the restrict some kind of speech. So we think that in the kind of the, this motion says right the when the, it is social regard disgusting right. So we think that we see the some kind of the art uh, in the, the when the uh, we see the art. But we think that this art is not. Uh, we think the people actually see that these arts. The, the, uh, this art, right? The people, the thing, the uh, people are uh, always people that uh, uh, consider these arts the, on the basis of the debil uh, their belief and so forth. And that's why we think that the people can decide uh, the social and legal decide this thing. But that's why we think that this goes is end uh, on the other side of the house. We think that's why we think uh, 
the this the uh, ads is actually the not the creating the uh, discourse within the within it is a social uh, regard disgusting that is uh, in the in the status quo. So that's why we think uh, the states have don't the arbitrary the preemptively the restrict uh, uh, this art, ladies and gentlemen. So, sir, uh, no thank you. More we think uh, socially unregarded disgusting is also the changing uh, the, as time goes on, ladies and gentlemen. That we change the idea of social the regard the disgusting. So we think that also the law is changed as time goes on, ladies and gentlemen. That we fit the uh, social value on the basis of the belief, ladies and gentlemen. The, that's why we think that we have to bring legitimacy to the restrict the ads the, on the basis of, of the, the, the people's the belief and so forth. That's why we think we need to go. But don't you think the precise reason why what is perceived as socially disgusting has changed is because we've been able to be exposed to what is previously regarded as socially disgusting, confront those ideas, rethink about those ideas, and try to understand about those ideas? So we think uh, if they, uh, this, uh, the art is existed, so we think that the art is the, the, uh, is itself is criticized by the, the uh, other people and so forth, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we think that if this uh, uh, discourse is created by the, uh, uh, by the society, the society that recognizes this is the social and uh, uh, disgusting. So we think that if the people, the uh, 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 reduce uh, people that think this is uh, socially uh, legal disgusting. We restrict the fault by the state. So that is not a uh, problem and so forth. So, uh, and our conviction is that uh, our, is our uh, uh, extension is right. So we the check the, uh, we, uh, um, we prioritize the more the, the, the vulnerable, the, 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 the who are uh, affected by the, the other kind of the people uh, who are actually the, uh, the, the use the arts uh, which goes to the harm to the others. So that's for the reason we make to close. I uh, thank the government whip speaker, and now finally I'd like to call upon opposition whip speaker to end the opposition case and this debate.
So uh, how, uh, per, like, actually the government should really promote these types of art in order to, like, achieve social progression in the conflict and to uh, promote discussion in these kinds of problems. So, and, uh, how, so, uh, okay, okay, so, uh, by, like, the state, like we have been saying, state should promote various types of values. So, uh, like, even if some people are disgusted by some uh, kind of art, like, uh, maybe it will be, like, sexual thing or, like, religious thing or even it could be, like, political things, like, uh, that's something that means a lot to people. That is why they're, like, really offended by things. But there are, that means that there are also people who are, who are really passionate about these things, like, people who are on the other side. And by expo uh, like, uh, first of all, I like to point out that this is, like, uh, the most moderate type of discussion, like, uh, promoter that we can provide to society because like if it if it were like covered totally then people will have like that is the pattern that uh in the world that people will have to rely on things like hate speech or like those very violent types of expression to express their really uh, like, something that they're really passionate about so that is going to like result in more conflict but in this type of art like uh, art like my partner has been talking about the uniqueness of art like it is like really up to the interpret interpretation of the like the viewer and also the author and also uh, it can reach a lot of people on the intuitive level so people even if they were uh, confronted with the words they will like be really, really offended but these people like art captures the nuance and also what the author like what the people on the other side are actually feeling so these uh, the viewer like uh, they might be like very offended at first but there is also a reflective process in viewing art right so at first they will be very offended but like in the uh, example of the refugee girl like a, a lot of people thought that it was really offensive to uh, depict the refugee girl as eating off the money like uh, the people that like, gave but uh, after that, uh, first of all, there are some benefits. First of all, the people uh, got more attention about the refugee problems, and also like people uh, realize that the government might not have been protecting those minorities as well as the majorities. So that is uh, raising attention well, also. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. And um, and also like uh, these people can actually feel. Uh, the both, both people from the both sides can really like uh, try to understand what the people on the other side is feeling. So that promoted discussion that is otherwise not will not occur, not occur. So uh, yeah. So that is the most moderate type of discussion. Uh, uh, close. Don't you think that the fact that government reflect this art also lets people in public know that these forms are offensive and rethink the ideas in that art? Like if we really like restrict it in the uh, meaning that emotion is saying, then people will not be exposed to these kinds of art. So we are what we are saying is that by uh, exposing people to these art, people can know that there is a problem there. But if it were like totally covered, then those people will not know, and the dissatisfaction and the discrimination and things like that will be covered. Oh, sure. Covered, and then it will like people's dissatisfaction will like uh, be raised uh, un not unnoticed for a long time, and then right result in like the, in the worst case war or something like that. So uh, lastly, let me compare the two paradigms. Uh, what will happen? What will happen in the government's paradigm? So they they what all uh, what all four of them have been succeeded in saying is that they in their paradigm they're able to protect the, a small number of people who might feel a little offended be, uh, by seeing those kinds of art but that is only for a short term and also the number of people are small but in our paradigm these people might be offended at first but also they can like they can also have the uh, opportunity to like uh, know know more about why other people are like victimizing them by these kinds of art they can feel the intention behind that art by themselves and um also these people can have more choices as to their uh, identity and uh and and uh, moreover, in our paradigm, because it promotes social discussion, these conflicts will like uh, at least move forward. People will like uh, try to understand why the other person is like uh, trying in a, such a radical art to express that opinion. So, uh, in the long term, the the like the really radical and violent types of narrative will decrease, and the people's uh, the uh, currently victimized people will be protected more, and uh, they. Yeah, so. Okay. So uh, let me summarize the points I have been talking about. And let me emphasize why our side was the most superior. Because 
the opening government wasn't sticking to the motion. <laughs> <laughs> Order. And the closing government, they didn't really like clearly define what was the controversial art. They wrongly defined that. And the um, opening opposition was okay, but they <laughs> I thank all the swim, now let's be sober. I thank all the speakers. You may cross floor, shake hands. Results will be announced in the briefing room. Everyone leave.